imagine creating stunning anime style videos with just a few clicks? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, I found a tool that makes it possible. In this video, I'll show you how I used Hilo AI Anime, a groundbreaking AI video generator, to create jaw-dropping anime videos. But that's not all. I put these videos to the test with Kling AI, and the results? Absolutely mind-blowing. If you're passionate about anime or love exploring cutting-edge AI tools, this is a must-watch. I'll take you through the entire process and reveal how these tools work together seamlessly. So, how did Halo AI stack up? And what surprising insights did Kling AI bring to the table? Let's dive in and find out. I tested a few prompts, and the outcomes of the videos were absolutely spot on. For the first step, I turned to ChatGPT and asked for viral anime video ideas. It generated plenty of story ideas to choose from. I decided to go with number 9, The Rebellion of the Eight Kings. From there, I asked ChatGPT to craft a detailed scene and a prompt to bring the video to life. Once I had the prompt, I copied it and headed over to Leonardo AI to get started. I selected the anime style, adjusted the aspect ratio to 16 by 9, and hit generate. While the first image was generated, I asked ChatGPT for another scene. It delivered another fantastic prompt, so I repeated the process with Leonardo AI to generate the second image. When the first anime image finished generating, I was amazed by how realistic it looked. The rain and fire effects were incredibly detailed, truly impressive. The second image turned out just as stunning, featuring a completely different scene with well-positioned characters. I downloaded both images so I could use them in Minimax. At Minimax, I went to the image to video section and uploaded the first image. I dragged and dropped it into the editor, pasted the prompt, selected the new live model and hit the generate button. While it was generating, I moved on to the second image, uploaded it and repeated the process to create a video from that scene as well. If you're enjoying this breakdown, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Image to video outcome in Minimax. The first video generated showcased the character moving at the speed of light from their native place to a new location. The fire and flames added a sense of motion, making the animation feel alive. The second video also turned out great. It highlighted the character's subtle movements against the background of burning fire. Although the second video had less character motion than the first, both results were highly impressive. Next, I decided to test the text to video feature by pasting the prompt directly into the tool. While waiting for the video to generate, I decided to try Kling AI. In its image to video section, I uploaded the images from my downloads folder, described the prompt, and set the duration to 5 seconds. I selected model 1.5 and started generating the video. Due to high demand, the process took longer than expected. While it was generating, I moved on to the second image, uploaded it, and repeated the process to create a video from that scene as well. Text to video outcome in Hilo AI. When the text to video feature finally completed, the results were mixed. The camera movements were smooth and the burning fire looked great, but the character remained completely static. In comparison, the image to video results were much better. The anime style stood out with vibrant rain and fire effects, combined with character and camera movement that added depth. The text to video version, while offering a 3D animation style, still required further refining to achieve perfection. Comparing Kling AI and Hilo AI with image to video outcome, both tools performed well, but Kling AI had the edge in camera movements and positioning. While the character in Kling AI's video remained static, the dynamic rain and fire effects brought the scene to life. Hilo AI, on the other hand, struggled with water animation, as there was barely any noticeable movement. Kling AI handled these details much better, creating a more realistic and engaging video experience. Text to video comparison. To put both tools to the test, I created a brand new scene with each one. Kling AI struggled with character movement, often making it appear stiff and unnatural. However, it excelled in rendering background objects, which added surprising realism to the scenes. Hilo AI took a different approach, focusing on smoother character animations and seamless transitions. But how did they compare side by side? Which tool truly stood out for creating a visually consistent and engaging video? Find out how I created consistent characters with Hilo AI Minimax. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI-powered content.